finally. That's better. Yes, eat on that small shrub and stay there, please, giraffe. Now I'm also going to turn and have a look and watch the giraffe. Hello. You're looking at me. Your Aussie cones are not particularly straight. Look at that. I love the way that they're head down, eating, and then standing up completely still, motionless. Just watching and listening. Now, Ashes One, you've said the giraffe are so elegant. What would happen if one lost a leg? My goodness, I'm not sure. I don't know if a giraffe could survive with just three legs. I have, though, I, I have seen a young giraffe with a broken leg before. Uh, and fortunately, it, it, it eventually passed on, but it lived for a very, very long time. It couldn't keep up with the herd, though, so I felt a bit sorry because it shouldn't have left its mother just yet. It would have actually still been suckling. But it did make do. It was just feeding. The herd actually moved off completely and, um, and abandoned it. Obviously, it couldn't keep up with the rest of the group, and that's how nature is. It is quite cruel if you can't keep up, depending on the species of animal and how strong the bond is between the various members of that particular group of animals. They might hang around a bit longer, but with giraffe, we, uh, they have an interesting social structure, and we talk about it quite often. It's called temporary associations. And uh, basically what happens is they have a bond when they're younger with their mothers, but then they lose that and they go their separate ways as they reach adulthood. So you might not necessarily always see the same females in the same herd. They really just go and do whatever they like. And the same thing goes with the boys. They are wanderers. They move about once they've reached sexual maturity, searching out for cows who are in estrus so that they can mate with them. But these fellas don't seem to be too interested in that. So, Ashwan, I don't know if a giraffe could survive without a leg. It would obviously um, be quite vulnerable to be taken down by the various predators. You can imagine it would be a lion's dream to come across a giraffe with an injury like that because it would make it much easier for them to take down. And I know that there's many different tactics that lions will use to try and hunt giraffe, and one of them is to actually chase them into an area where it's maybe a bit rocky and they can lose their footing quite easily because as soon as a giraffe has fallen down, because they're ginormous giants, it's difficult for them to stand up quite quickly. They're not, they might be graceful on all fours and when they're running and walking, but to try and get up and down from the ground, it proves quite challenging. And of course, this would be to the advantage of a lion. And all they've got to do is sit on top of it, especially sit on top of its head and they'll make it very difficult for it to be able to stand up again. But lions have to be careful. Now that we can see this giraffe clearly, you can see that they're equipped with weapons too. Maybe not the traditional kind of weapons that we see, claws and horns. They've got those Aussie cones, but it's just the boys uh, that really need them. They swing their heads at each other when they're battling it out for dominance. But those legs are incredible weapons. They are so powerful. And I would not like to be kicked by a giraffe. I don't know if I'd maybe live to tell the tale if I got a proper... Uh, a kick, maybe imagine a double barrel from a giraffe. Actually, I don't know if a giraffe could double barrel, but even just one leg is enough. Now, Anna, you're wondering if I've ever seen a serious fight between male giraffe. No, nothing like Sir David Attenborough has seen. Um, remember, he, he did that series called Africa, and there was the, the one episode where he got a proper giraffe fight, and he recorded it. That was amazing. No, I've never seen anything like that. I've seen them sparring, and I've seen them get quite rough, but that's still uh, something that I, I'd love to, of course, have a look at, is, is to see elephants battling it out properly and then of course to see giraffe having a battle too i can't imagine it would be very pleasant to watch though you know one thing i have seen which was quite interesting as i've seen two buffalo bulls fighting before that was amazing to see that was i can't believe how how quick and nimble um, buffalo actually are when they fight because they're quite he sort of top heavy um, buffalo they're like big rugby players all the muscles in their shoulders Megan, Megan says, Megan in FC, seen a proper giraffe fight. Is that correct? <clears throat> right. Oh, my goodness. Megan, my goodness. Listen to this. So, Megan, who's one of the directors, uh, she says that she's seen uh, this happen before, two giraffe bulls fighting, and she actually said that the, one, the other one 
one of the giraffes, blah, 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 tongue tied now, actually killed the other. That is exceptionally rare. I don't know many people that have seen anything like that. I think we're at the same herd of impala that Ali had. I just want to draw your attention away from the giraffe, but there's an impala just about to pop out over there. And he's got some scars on his back. The one just to the left, uh, he's just walking behind that shrub. Here we go, yeah, the, those ones, now that one on the left-hand side. If you look very carefully, he's got some scars on his back. He'll turn out and follow the rest now, so we'll see him. And I wonder if this is not the same ram that Ali had earlier, where she said that she thought that maybe <clears throat> a leopard or a lion had perhaps uh, tried to attack this fella and it made an escape. Everyone's walking together now. The zebra have also come out. Just want to check to see if this impala is the same ram. Maybe, Alice, you can confirm when we get a view. No, come on, turn right. Yes, there we go. Now you can see the scars. Here it is. They're all walking together, though, so I think the lions are going to have a tough time, though. 